Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do a quick chat channel update. I wanna show off this uh, Kato Amtrak F40PH. And uh, this is the Phase 3 scheme with the ditch lights in the front. And uh, yeah, I actually purchased this engine last year. And uh, I was, I didn't show it off in this channel yet because um, I had, I was just busy adding the decoder and adding the lights and just customizing and everything like that. So, but now it's done. So I wanna show it off a little bit. As you can see, I added all these uh, handrails and grab irons all around here as well as the grab irons in the front and there's a, there's a, there's a whole wealth of details and it took a while but uh, it, it didn't re use glue so it's actually pretty fast but uh, yeah so it looks great and uh, of course it's not comparable to the Rapido engines that were just newly released this is still this is like I don't know how old like five more than five years uh, five years old this model uh, this this when, when uh, Kato released these engines and uh, so obviously the detail level isn't on par with them but it's like more than uh, good enough for, for my standards you know, uh, it's far better than looking than the the Walther's Trainman and Mainline looking uh, the Mainline uh, line models, Trainline and uh, Mainline models because they don't have anything. Everything's just one molded plastic shell, and so yeah, this is this is great. And then another thing I added was I added a Lock Sound uh, V5 decoder, and my I had I had a friend program it for me, and um, yeah, so it came with six function outputs. So I have it so wired so the headlight is one function output, the dish lights each is one, so that's three. Number boards for the emergency strobe light, uh, the red emergency strobe light, unfortunately, does not run, which is a shame. But I mean, it's never really used in real life. It, it, it is. I'm not saying it isn't, but it's very rare to see it on. So I didn't do that. Uh, the five would be the the strobe lights, the white strobe lights on top. Um, those are those. So they're they're prototypes. Some of them were out of sync, like the two uh, strobe lights were out of sync. But most of them, if I recall, are in sync. So uh, I wired them in fu one function output. And the last uh, output is the rear light, which co coincidentally I also wired together with the two marker lights in the front. So when the rear light is on, the two marker lights are on. And it makes sense because those are really, really only on when it's going in reverse. So this is the back of the train. Uh, this is usually during push-pull servers. Uh, I think it's pretty smart to have all these because technically I have uh, you know eight lights on. But uh, I only have six function outputs, so I think it's pretty cool. And I had to modify this upper portion up here a lot. Try to cram, you know, one, two, three lights on this little area up here without having too much light bleed. Um, so yeah, I think it was pretty cool. So let's uh, get her started. Real quick before I uh, do that, uh, you'll see that there's some Bachman Amplite coaches behind her. I bought each of these for 30 bucks a piece. Oh, I also I paid uh, 30, $65 for this engine, by the way, which is pretty nice. Anyways, yeah, 30 bucks a piece for these cars. They are the, the newer kind, which have the marker lights, as you can see right there. And uh, you can see if I remove the track power, it turns off. So yeah, also has lights inside, which I actually do plan to remove and add my own lights, because I'm not a huge fan of these lights. Um, they, they draw a lot of power, so I'm trying to convert them to LEDs and such. All right, anyways. Uh, let's start this engine up. Alright, and uh, just to show up the headlights real quick, here's the headlight, here are the ditch lights, uh, here are the beacons, kind of hard to see, but let me turn off the light real quick, there we go, there you go, you can see them flash, alright, here are the number boards, these are too bright, I'm going to uh, use CVs to dim them down a little bit. Right now, they're, <laughs> I mean, they work, so, yeah. And then lastly, if I put the engine into reverse, the headlights uh, on dim, and it, I think it's a prototype. If it goes in reverse, the headlights go on, but just on dim. You can see the marker lights turn on, and also the rear light is on right there. So, yeah, it's a pretty awesome looking engine. All right, so let's put in Ford, and uh, let's turn on HEP, HEP mode, which is basically running the engine into notch 8. And this is used to provide power for the cars. So here it is. All right. 
So now let's sound the bell and the horn. Uh, the track's a little dirty, so ignore that. I didn't install a Keep Alive yet, uh, so yeah. I'm gonna just emerge and stop it here. And also mute it. Anyways, yeah, so that's just a quick update, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys like this engine. Spent a lot of time trying to wire everything and any details. And uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, like and subscribe if you want, and uh, comment if you have any questions, by the way. I'd, I'd be happy to answer any questions, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy!